Well, we've got one last car to look at today. I've got the owners here with me, and you'd think it would be the guy standing next to me, but it's the one on the far end. Tell us your name. Tell us where you're from. Teresa Chalo from Elmer, New Jersey. Bob Chalo from Elmer, New Jersey. And which one of you wants to tell me about what the car is? Because I see under the hood, it's not the traditional small block Chevy driving this. Uh, it's a small block, but a V6. Okay, that's, that's what I thought looking under there. 96 Vortec V6 engine out of a pickup truck. Oh, that's, 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 that's not cookie cutter by any stretch. Made it into a nice cruiser. What year is the car? 38 Chevy Coupe. It's a 38. How long have you had it? About three years. About three years. Two years of working. Okay, so you restored the car. Yeah. That's, it, it, it looks great. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. In this light, the sun's almost down. The paint just really glows. Thank you. Uh, it's a 96 Viper Blue. I thought I recognized the color. I had I had one of those up until just not too long ago. I thought I recognized the color, but I didn't want to say anything. That's it. Um, do you drive it very often? Yeah, we uh, got over 5,000 miles on it. We're making a planning a tour right now to uh, Pottsville, Pennsylvania, with our club. We ran that a couple times. Um, where else do we go with it? Oh, uh, Baltimore, Maryland, to a car show. We shot down there one day. Well, that's quite, that's quite a cruise for something like this. Yeah, it loves cruising. That was my idea, to make a nice driver, and it turned out beautiful. Well, I thank you very much for showing it to us. Thanks for bringing it out today. Let us take a look. Thank you for talking to us. We're just about ready to wrap things up. we just got a couple of minutes left, and I've got two of the people here that are mostly responsible for this and parking the cars and organizing it. Now, I've talked about when the... When the when the drive-in was built back in the 40s and it went dark in the 80s and it's back and I've got somebody here that's got some more exact dates for me. I also heard that capacity here is 750 and it looks like we might actually reach that. We're pretty full now and there's another, there's another car show that's closing up and a lot of these people are probably going to be showing up here soon. I've got to cool down a little bit. And, and it's sure to cool down a little bit. I've got a couple of these guys here with me. Introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Ben Nataro. I'm Larry Lazarus. I know, I know Larry from outside of this event with Cruise and News New Magazine. I get it delivered to my house. I'm sure a lot of you get it delivered as well. If you don't, there is a website that they can go to and, and get, get the magazine delivered to them. What is that? Cruisingmagazine.net. Cruisingmagazine.net. Yeah, uh, Ben's also a writer in, in the uh, magazine. I do the uh, Cruising 101, with all the answers for cruising. And uh, I think we answered a lot of questions here tonight. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is just a fantastic event. I mean, a cruise out of driving. What can what could be better? Oh, yeah. I was saying earlier, I haven't been to one of these since I was a little kid. That was a long time ago. Now, you know the history about the drive-in. You know about, like, all the exact dates. I went online, and I looked, and I found out some of my dates were a little bit off. Why don't you clear us up a little bit? The drive-in, I don't have the full history, but the drive-in actually, I believe, was started around 1947. It was, I believe, around the second or third drive-in in the East Coast. Now it's the only one in New Jersey, so... You know, it's definitely uh, uh, something that's unique to the, uh, to the state. And um, they only show first-run movies. A lot of people think that when the drive-in opened up, they were only going to have second-run movies or you were going to see something really that wasn't all that current. Bottom line is, the neat thing is, when you come to the drive-in over here, uh, you're going to be reliving a part of history in your participation, checking out the movie, but you're also going to get to see the latest movies. So you get the best of both worlds right now. Yeah, I was saying my age two turned into a time machine to come back and actually see a drive-in. These, I mean, these haven't been up and running back that long. No, this drive-in's only been in uh, back in operation a couple of years, and um, the doctor who owns a Dr. D. Leonardis uh, is a real movie buff, and uh, he's a real regular guy, kind and kind enough to work with us. He brought this place back to life. It truly uh, needed some TLC. And uh, rebuilding every the, the buildings that they have there. The screen, believe it or not, had withstood this test of time, I understand, and wasn't really in bad disrepair for something that was almost, uh, what, 40 years old? 60 years old, actually. So, um, you know, the drive-in has been around. It's here to stay. And Larry and I had the good fortune of being able to uh, help bring it back. Now, we've talked about the drive-in. You notice we're wrapping up the show in front of the concession stand. The concession stand is a real important part of this event because as well as having a good time for all the car guys and having, like, great food and great times and reliving the past, this is actually a benefit. Yes. Part of the proceeds from the concession stand are going to be going to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Uh, originally, we had scheduled it for a young girl, 7-year-old girl, 
uh, from South Jersey. She has inoperable brain cancer, and her parents requested that it would go to CHOP in Philadelphia for cancer research so that it could benefit even more people. And uh, so our hopes and prayers are with this young lady and the generosity of the people tonight as they're purchasing food and all uh, will help go to Children's Hospital and Cancer Research. So hopefully uh, a lot of other young people are, are going to be taken care of also. Now, if anybody's seeing this after the event and they want to make a donation, is there any way that they can go online or get in touch with it? Well, they could probably get a hold of Larry or I. Um, they can get a hold of me if they want to give me a telephone call. Uh, my number is 856 692 and I'll give them a mailing address that they can uh, contact me. And then there's Larry. He has uh, his number. And they can contact you, Larry, right, right through the magazine. Right through the magazine or cruising editor at yahoo.com. That's real fancy. Easy, real easy and fun. And what we're planning to do is get together with this girl and with the money from here and all go up to the hospital together and donate it. And there will be more information on our website, crazyforcars.com. Thanks for watching us today. Make sure you visit the website often. Post some pictures in your gallery. Thanks a lot.